The Windows 10 October update has been pulled from the store. The Epos Vox effect, as you all called it after my newer green screen review, apparently took that down off of Amazon. But it gets worse. They knew about it. They knew about this bug for months. And yet they released it anyway. I'm EposVox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I've made a couple videos now about the Windows 10 1809 update that just rolled out, the big October update that rolled out to a lot of people, or to the people who are all holier than thou about it. This wasn't a, an update that we had a choice in. It didn't pop up the little box saying, hey, it's time to update, you should update now. It just updated. It just came out like a normal Windows update and installed itself on most people's machines. And in that, a lot of people are rebooting after the update, which they didn't ask for in the first place, and they're wondering where their files are. Where did they go? Well, the update deleted them. And apparently, a user has reported, or, you know, there were user reports of this bug deleting files three, three months ago. Now, if you're unaware, the Windows updates are still actually tested by some users who are in the feedback program or the Windows Insider program. Now, according to The Verge, that's millions of people testing Windows 10, which in their video declaring that the update had been pulled from the Windows, you know, update downloads, they, they, they made a very serious effort to make it clear that millions of people test Windows 10. I don't know why. They didn't really have a reason as to why they said that. It's almost uh, like, when Microsoft does not need anyone else except for Microsoft defending their decisions. But I guess The Verge decided they needed to give Microsoft a good old pat on the back. Aw shucks, they are trying their best to get these updates out and made in a reasonable fashion, I guess. You know, I'm sure laying off their quality assurance and testing teams had nothing to do with the crazy debacles that have happened with almost every major Windows 10 update. Nothing at all, right? W at least one of these millions of people testing the Windows 10 updates before they release, someone three months ago, I have a screenshot here on the Feedback Hub, reported that files that were not synced to their OneDrive account in their user, user data folders were deleted. And there, it's even acknowledged there's a few helpful votes, I think there might have been a comment or two, and there's the little message of, we've got it, we're working on it, we'll have that fixed by release, right? Because why would you release an update to million, millions of some forced users of your operating system that you've shoved down everyone's throats that deletes their files? What's funny is this ironically comes on a, a weekend where I am actually shooting some b-roll for a video about my very first MacBook Pro, which isn't a new one, it's an older one. I haven't gone to the dark side, but I made a video about it and it just has me thinking like, with all of this where everyone just keeps insisting that it's time to switch off of Windows, not that most people really have a choice there, all of these posts about it, I just think about an alternate timeline where I grew up editing my early videos on, my, on an old iMac and then I you know, went all in on the Apple market instead of the Windows ones. I'd probably be making setup videos about white minimalist desks that only have a MacBook and a fake plant on it. I'm just like, this is the best setup. Minimalism, you can get so much work done with all of your lack of tools. It's a great setup because there's nothing on it. And then filling my Instagram with selfies from the new iPhone XS Max and, does this smooth my skin too much? But seriously, this is a problem, thankfully, Microsoft has pulled the update, so ideally before it comes out again, because my last video was don't download it until you, you know, see this, ideally before it comes out again, they will have fixed this issue. But I say ideally with the biggest grain of salt there, because for real, they should have fixed it before it came out if it was already reported. This is just absurd. Like, a lot of people like to jump on this and be like, well yeah, it's Microsoft, they only care about money, they don't care about their users. But there's a degree in which your incompetency or your lack of attention to your users' needs or sanity actually hurts that. Like, you can only make up so much money while literally burning off your users. It's just beyond baffling and honestly pretty infuriating for me. And while I love all the comments that say, oh, that's why I use Linux, oh, you should just switch to Linux. Is it worth it for a couple apps in your games? Well, yeah, anyone who plays games as their main hobby and doesn't want to deal with a Linux configuration is going to stay on PC. 
most people using Windows either are average consumers that have nowhere near enough experience to actually switch or make that effort, or the rest of us are just forced here because there are no reasonable replacements. There are alternatives, but no reasonable work-ready replacements for most of what people do their jobs with on Linux. Just not there. Now, every Windows update causes glitches of some sort. Pretty much everyone does. I mean, the I mean, the operating system is so per pervasive at this point, I mean, Windows is always on everyone's computers, that there's always going to be edge cases of really old computers that just can't handle the updates anymore, random glitches during install, and so on, but it has been getting worse and worse with Windows 10, to the point that deleting files is basically just, you might as well be t popping up advertisements. Please, go buy a Mac. Please, install Linux. Like, Microsoft, I'm, I'm serious right now. Here, I'm going to go all Casey Neistat. Yeah, I am serious business mode. Microsoft, you can't keep doing this. You need to properly vet and test. That, that's too close on my face. You need to properly vet and test your updates before they go live, before users get them. Your target, your mainstream user base are not your testers for your operating systems or for your updates. We're past the age of service packs where you can just choose to wait six months until it's all patched up in order to actually install it. This is no longer an option. You're forcing these updates on us. You're not testing them before they're there. That's, that's like just trying to replace the shingles on my house just without me asking and leaving giant holes in my roof and letting the rain fall in and then just deciding to not replace anyone else's roofs until you decide how to fix that. Leaving me with the hole in my roof with nothing I can do about it and then just you know, laughing at all the people who are like, oh, you should switch to a house with no roof or something. I... <sighs> if your files are missing, you do have an option for trying to find them. Uh, it's actually even been theorized that maybe the files aren't necessarily being deleted, but something in the policy editor or the way it's set for the operating system to, de to detect files maybe it just kind of lost the link from the file system to those files and they might still be there just in excess or you know invisible to the operating system so you can try file recovery tools uh, the free one that most people recommend these days is recuva from the same people that made uh, ccleaner this is not a sponsored spot or anything like that however if the recuva people are launching money please but you could try that to try to see if you can get some of your files back keep in mind file recovery of that magnitude is Never a guarantee in the slightest. There's always potential problems. It could just not find anything at all or what it does recover could be corrupt. And this all implies that no new files nor your operating system update actually wrote over the links to those files. Good luck to you, but don't expect a whole lot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as always. Uh, apologies for the weird setup here. I'm not in my own place, and so I don't have any control over the lighting or audio. I mean. It's my, it's my number one YouTube tip. If, if, if your setup or backdrop is not that interesting, just break into someone's house and start recording videos. See what they say. Don't, don't really do that. All right, I'm going to go. I, I, I'm going to tear my hair out from these updates. Like, this is just ridiculous. I, 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 don't, I don't have words at this point.